Hello Flight Simmers, welcome back to the channel and a good morning from Düsseldorf Airport. We are here in the iFly 737 MAX 8 and we are sporting a, uh, a very, very cool new livery, which is the new Heritage livery of TUI. Um, and I think this is a particularly nice idea for Heritage livery since it combines uh, sort of the old existing liveries into one. Um, I really, in the meantime, I kind of forgot about this yellow sort of taxi livery they once uh, sported on the aircraft. It's a very strange livery indeed. But uh, how cool is that to have essentially three liveries on one airframe? That is so cool. And uh, yeah, so we are back in the uh, 737. Um, flying out of Dusseldorf very early morning here at Dusseldorf. It's uh, 6 a.m. You can see sun has just come up back there. And we are doing some, um, yeah, some holiday ops, flying this aircraft down to Heraklion in Greece. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to do this flight. Um, we are doing it as real as possible. So we are starting from cold and dark, uh, since this is the first flight of the airframe uh, on this particular day. And um, yeah, I would say we have, uh, I think we can actually discuss everything once being on board. Um, regarding the flight plan and, and so on. So um, yeah, let's take the the walk towards uh, the airplane here. Quickly looking at those beautiful, what is it, CFM? Oh my gosh, I was just thinking while I was uh, doing the move, but I think it's CFM engines, right? On the Max. Um, yeah, so very, very cool livery. Uh, I would say let's head into the flight deck and see if we can find ourselves a seat so there we are <laughs> um yeah so as i've said uh, starting from uh, cold and dark uh, so we have ground power connected uh, i've done that in the meantime so i would say let's uh, start on the overhead panel we will skip the pre-flight checks i mean we are in the sim environment starting from cold and dark there's nothing going to be out of the ordinary um so Right, starting from uh, top left to lower right, so this all looks okay for the initial power up. Um, we have this battery coming to on, and the guard should close. There it is. Yeah, we have ground power giving us um, good voltages, so ground power is coming on. Uh, this can actually stay as it is. Panel brightness, yeah, maybe a little bit since it's still um, kind of dark outside. Emergency light go to armed. Guard should also close. This is looking okay. Um, window heat, yeah, it can actually cannot come on right now. This is looking fine. Um, altitude we will select later on and we just put the um, nav lights on. Let's do logos as well just for the looks of it really right parking brake is set so the aircraft is powering up and then yeah let's head in here since we need to do the or first let's actually kick off gsx um request boarding uh, no, we are already in here yeah we could think about doing the refueling with gsx as well actually uh, that would be one option to do it. Cargo doors, forward cargo, after cargo, open, open. So I wonder if I can still request refueling. Refueling service requested. Right, let's see how it works. Okay, there is a refueling page on here, which I've never used before, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. Um, okay, I would say um, then we kick on the IRSs. So this is coming to NAV. Align, this is coming to NAV as well. Then we have the FMC ident. So we're sporting the right um, Eric uh, cycle 2407 position in it. Um, well, we are going from gate oh my gosh what is it victor 63 
Right, and then we can still take the GPS and see if this matches. Oh yeah, it's actually spot on, cool. Root, right, uh, how does this work again? I think we do it like this. Uh, no, then we need to do it like this. I always forget how to do it since I'm not flying this aircraft very often. Oh, this loaded something in. Okay. So it seems to be there straight away. We are flying 2E, 3 Foxtrot Golf, at least that's the call sign for today. And yeah, we will dial in the routing, the exact routing in just a second. In the meantime, yeah, that's the baggage arriving. I wonder if. Oh. Okay, that's the passengers. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that now the fuel truck will come in after we have boarded the passengers, which is slightly unrealistic. Um, let's see how it works. Maybe we'll just um, reset uh, GSX and then we will be fine as well. Right, so um, can we actually... We have the charts on here. I'm wondering if we have the... OFP on here, but maybe we don't, right? Alright, so let's do the fueling in here. So we need, um, let's see, we have a total fuel of exactly 10 tons for the trip. Um, left fuel, which is number one, no, that's 3.87. Okay, so these are the wing tanks, and this is the center tank. So left wing needs to be. 3.81 I guess it's actually gonna be the value 3.87 okay so how do I actually make it work <laughs> valve on Okay, that's not working. Well, never mind, then we will just take the center fuel, which is 2.26, so let's go with 2.3. Set. Okay, so this one is loading. Maybe let's go 2.4. We need to round up a little bit more. 2.4. Okay, so apparently this is loading. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah, we can see it rise there. Okay, but this is on the fuel, but there's none option for the um, passenger load is there. Okay, so now the fuel truck is actually there. Yeah, a little bit of strange procedures here today, but never mind. Um, okay, charts. Um, let's see, we are... Uh, first of all, the parking stands as well. Then we are departing today on runway 23 left on the Doden departure. Uh, this one. So that's gonna be the Doden 3. Oh, what is it? It's hard to see. Yeah, the one out of, out of 23 left, whatever this one is. Yeah, Dota 9 Tango, that's the one we need. Okay, departure, 2 3 left, Dota 9 Tango. And for the arrival, we will plan runway 27, which. Oh, yeah, oh, that's fun, okay. Potentially an RNAV approach, we will check out the approaches later on. Coming in via the Xavi. 
like that. Root activate. Ooh, performance. Right, so reserves. Um, alternate is going to be Athens. 2.6. Zero fuel weight um, will be 63.5. Now I still need to do the loading actually. Okay, so fuel is loaded. I will now use the external tool of the iFly to actually update the weight. Okay, this should work. Hope it works. Cost index 12, that's fine. Execute, lex, root data, request the wind data, progress. Okay, so wind data is in there. All right, now we just need to do the performance calculation. I'm just still wondering if the if the weight is actually set in the correct way. Uh, maybe we can figure it out through here. Um, okay, so copy FMC data. Uh, wind is in meters per second, which is such a strange way to show it, but okay. Outside air temperature 22. Um, that's in inches. She still need to switch this one around. Let's see, 1007. Um, rating, let's try take off 2, flap config uh, 5, aircon on, anti ice off, um, weight and balance, read P3D data, 0 through at 63.5, okay, so this works. That is actually quite good, complete. 21.7, calculate, uh, okay. Actually, need a bit more power today. Okay, flap five, take off one. Um, select temperature 32. Right, N1 limit. Um, take off one, select temperature 32. Take off flap five, center of gravity 21.7. That was the auto trim. And speeds 146, 47, 50, 154. Okay, so 154 coming in here. Um, heading initially. Two, three, two. Yeah, and we're flying offline. Uh, let's leave 10,000 for now. I think that's a good value to kick things off. NF, VNF, that's looking good. And also, um, just looking at the black box data, we have acceleration here, just sort of 11.50. And same for thrust reduction, actually, 11.50. Engine out acceleration, 1,700. Okay, very good stuff. Very good stuff. So this is all complete. Now let's kick on the APU. Like that. Okay, then we can run some pre-flight checks. Oxygen is completed. Uh, okay, pre check this oxygen test is 100%, navigation transfer and display switches are normal and auto. Uh, window heat is on, preservation mode selector uh, 370 is on auto, flight instruments heading um, 089089, altimeters 1007, 1007 and 1007 as well. 
parking brake is set and engine starters are cut off. Right. Also getting a little bit of uh, a little bit of extra brightness in here. Like that. Uh, transponder. Let's put it to 1000. Okay, checking from the outside. Seems like GSX has completed all the required procedures. We can actually taxi straight out today, that's pretty cool. So we don't need to have a pushback even. Um, right. So APU. Okay, APU power is available, so let's switch to APU. Then we will get rid of everything on the ground. So starting with the doors. Close. Close, close. Um, ground support. Disconnect. Chocks disconnect. Remove the pins. Set. Okay, very good stuff. Um, if you bleed, packs one and two. And then we kick on the other fuel pumps, center one as well. Your damper needs to come on. Um, yeah, we don't need a pushback, so hydraulics also come on. And yeah, beacons. Oh, seatbelts, of course. Okay, before start checklist. Flight deck door is closed and locked. Fuel. We have 10 tons on board and fuel pumps are on. Passenger signs are on. Windows are locked on my side and locked on the first officer side. Um, MC P is set V2 154 heading 232 altitude uh, 10,000. Takeoff speeds are inserted at um, 146, 147, and 154. CD preflight is completed. Radar and alien trim is free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing completed. Anti collision light is on. Right. Now the pegs are on. Yeah, looking good. Okay, right. So, um, reset position. Gonna make it very easy. And then we are ready for the engine start. So, pegs coming off. Oh, I switched them to high before. Oh, that's strange. Not sure what's going on in my head. And let's start with engine number two. Auto start, and let's look outside. Oh, GSX still had the cones there. bit of smoke coming out there. <laughs> Alright, so um, 
this was a good engine start and let's do the same procedure for number one Right, I wonder why we still have the dual bleed on. I don't quite understand this because other than APU bleed there should not be any... Or well now actually from engine number 2 but it was on before. So that's a little bit strange. Right. Yeah, the motoring going on should not take too long. It's not very hot outside and it's the first flight of the day. So engines are not, just not very hot at this point. Right, one thing I haven't done, I haven't checked the, uh, the legs page for constraints. There is no constraint essentially in here other than above flight level 150 at Delta Lima 242. Is this in line with the charts? Yeah, so just out uh, for a few miles, then left hand turn, flat 150 or above. Okay, nothing else in terms of constraints. Very straightforward indeed. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I accidentally had a bit of uh, power there. Um, okay, we have two good engine starts. That's a good thing. Generators one and two. APU off. Um, this comes to auto, auto, auto. APU bleed off. Then we have those coming to continuous. Overhead panels looking good. Uh, this comes RTO trim is set. We have laps position five for takeoff. And we will do a quick flight control check left, full right, full up, full down, and the rudder full left and full right. Oh, I accidentally just put flap 2, flap 5, there we go. Wow, I haven't been in the 737 for so long. Um, right before taxi checklist. Generators are on. Bropeed is not on, coming on right now. Anti-ice is not required. Isolation valve is on auto. Engine start switches are continuous. Recall is checked. Outbreak is RTO. Engine start levers are idle. Flight controls checked. Ground equipment is clear. Right, let's go. Taxi lights. Parking brake off. Clear left side, clear right side. Let's go. guys getting ready for our departure towards Heraklion um, before takeoff checklist flaps position 5 green lights and stabilizer trim is uh, up 6 point something units so that's looking good runway uh, 2 3 left is identified we are cleared for takeoff let's go flash I love that uh, flash feature strobe and steady so lights are set overhead panel is looking good no traffic around because I've actually kicked out AI traffic just for the departure it's a bit of an FPS hit two, three, left. I have lost the scaling running for now for the departure so in terms of FPS we should be fine Right, completing the lineup. Beautiful summer day here and just a lot of no clouds around. It's very cool. Right, I would say let's rock and roll. Clock is on coming on. Two, three, left. And 
let's go. So power to around 40%. And take off. N1 and Toga. Nice. 80 knots. Take off run one. Yeah. One rotate. Let's go flying. And we are born. He is coming up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Oh, wind shear. <laughs> I remember that in this aircraft. <laughs> coming on every other second. Let's accelerate. Right, I'd say this is a good day for hand flying it a little bit. Taxi lights can come off. Sorry, I, sh I should give the aircraft more chance to accelerate. We are past acceleration altitude. Flaps one. Speed checked. Flaps one. And flaps up. Quick look, but I think we need to start the left hand turn any seconds. Yeah, there we go. Right, speeding up to 250 knots. This aircraft is so heavy on the controls. It's a little bit crazy. Nice, ah, very cool. Alright, ah, really, really beautiful. Um, standard altimeters are set. Outbreak can come off as well. Alright guys, let's put on the autopilot. Command A. And after takeoff checklist, engine bleeds are on, packs are auto. Landing gear is up and flaps are up. No lights after takeoff checklist is completed. And so we are on our way to Greece. Nice, that was a fun early morning departure on the 737. I really like that one thousand to go need to keep climbing of course and right let's hope for a good flight and for a uh, hopefully very nice landing into Heraklion later on catch you later guys
Hello guys, welcome back to the flight deck. We are approaching Iraklion, um in island of Crete is uh, just straight ahead. Airport should be around Oh, where is it actually? Around there? Or maybe around there? Not quite sure. Um, yeah, I also just uh, threw out a bit of speed break since I did take a shortcut. Um, in fact, let's quickly talk about the arrival. So we are flying as a star, of course, but now we are actually direct into India Romeo 402 and then we will fly the RNF arrival into runway um, 27. Minimums at 8.30, it's slightly steeper than the normal profile, so this is uh, 3.4 degrees. Um, in case of a missed approach, of course, we clamp right out over the ocean, away from any terrain. Uh, right hand turn at max uh, 185. And then up to 3000 holding on, so again. Right, so that's the plan. Um, those fellas come to continuous, we will switch on the landing lights as well. We will check the weather, active sky, weather request for Algier, which is wind 340 at 4, cave 31 degrees, 1008, so nothing crazy, it's warm, it's a, I guess a normal um, summer day, um, not that win windy, which is nice, I think often on these uh, Greek islands you actually have a lot of wind, but today it seems to be fine, uh, we are speeding like crazy. Uh, but we do have the speed brakes out, so uh, should be slowing down right now. Yeah, I've calculated auto brake 3, so um, the runway is not crazily long. It has 2.7 kilometers. Uh, we will try to make it on Charlie. But I guess in, in real life, uh, unfortunately something we can't calculate for, but in real life, um, airline like TUI they would probably calculate for a pretty short turnaround time and then priority is on not uh, heating up those brakes too much um, so uh, if if we don't ma if we can't make it on on Charlie then we can even go a bit further I mean we could also even try to do an auto brake too Uh, required 2.3 out of 2.7, so this also works. We can go auto brake 2 and then uh, we should definitely be uh, fine in terms of brake temperature. Uh, so that we can theoretically have a short uh, turnaround time. Right, other than that, the yeah, altimeter is set, so this completes the approach checklist as well. Next up will be the um, landing checklist. Looking forward to this one. I'm I'm trying to uh, to do it a good bit of hand flying since it's just a beautiful day day to do it. And um, yeah, so we have a few constraints coming up. Um, so we have at uh, 402, we actually need to be speed 185 knots below. Uh, so they do slow the aircrafts down quite a bit here, which is which is kind of good. Um, so we make sure we don't over speed the airport. We have now have 19 track miles to go and since it's a little bit steeper profile um, it might be a good idea to be at least on a flap 10 uh, once we are on the uh, glide path down to the airport. Right, so in fact we can go flaps uh, 1 just now. Flaps 1, speed checked. that in order to get to 185 we actually need more flaps so that's gonna be yeah flap 2 just works <laughs> uh, works just fine but we can also go uh, flap 5 actually right 15 miles to go I think today we're gonna keep it quite simple and um, I've dialed altitude dial to 900 since uh, 830 is the minimums and yeah, let's go flaps 5 as well and um, yes, yeah, so we will just fly down there, LNAV, VNAV, um, as easy as that. And then, yeah, it should be good. Nothing, nothing crazy really. It's a perfect, uh, perfect day for visual flying in. So that's nice. 
Uh, yeah, speed brakes now need to be retracted. Actually, need to be armed. Now we have 12 miles to go. Unable next altitude. Yeah, we need to be 2300, but that should be fine. We should be able to make it. 11 miles to go, let's go flip 10. Comes 271, that's gonna be the final approach course. 271, like that. 2500. Right. Right hand turn, the final one. Yeah, there I can just see the runway lights back there. Seven miles to go. Let's go gear down, flip 15. And final approach speed will be um, 149. Let's go flap 30, find approach speed 149, and as I've mentioned, I want to do a bit of uh, hand flying as well. So go around to 3000 is set. Landing checklist. Engine start switches are continuous, speed brakes are armed. Landing gear is down and flaps are 30 green light. Landing checklist is completed. Let's do a bit of flying, shall we? slow right it's actually been so long since I last flew the oh command is still on go. it's been so long since I last flew the uh, 73 max approaching don't normal. quite remember how it handles approaching two seven minimum getting a bit high already Right, actually we would need to uh, recycle those fillers as well. 500. Okay, let's look outside. Still four whites, which seems a little bit odd. Does not feel like we are terribly high, to be honest. 300. Floater. <laughs> there we are. Oh no, once again I forgot to pull it to idle. Oh heaven the last time to me as well because I have a ah never mind, it's my throttle setup. Can I actually exit back there or do I need to swing around? Remaining. I think I need to swing around, don't I? Yeah. 
Yeah, so what happened there is I'm I'm actually using my Airbus uh, throttles to fly the Boeings as well, which is a terrible idea, I know. Uh, but so when I pull back to idle, I always forget that due to the config, I need to go actually into the reverse range to pull it to idle. And I always forget about this. <laughs> And that's why I didn't quite pull it to idle. But okay, we, we've made it down. Um, but yeah, that's likely the reason why we floated it a bit as well. Okay, we can exit right here. Also making sure the APU is being started. APU caution. That's a bit strange. Should that, should that be uh, showing up at this point? Uh, oh, now it's gone. Okay, and then we can find ourselves a stand. They don't have any proper gates here, it's just uh, apron stands. So let's see what's available. Take stand uh, five. Have a look at this company seven three seven taking off. Nice. Right, gates three, four, and five. So we need to swing it around. Taxi lights off. Yes, yeah, so this is the taxi line which we need to follow. And then we need to take another right hand swing. Marshall us back there. I think this line is uh, putting us quite far out. That's strange. That's really not very intuitive, in my opinion. Okay, is that right? Feels like we can go a bit further, right? Maybe like this. Okay, parking brake is set. APU is running, coming on and killing engines. One and two, like that. Transponder comes back to uh, off or standby. Um, then we have APU bleed, this comes open, packs are on, uh, beacons off, seat belts off, a few pumps off, apart from one for the um, APU, hydraulics, and propeed as well. Shutdown checklist, fuel pumps are off, apart from one. Uh, Pro Peter's off, hydraulic panel is set, flaps are up, parking brake is set, engine side levers cut off, and weather radar is not off. Sorry about that. Now it's off. Right, let's do some deboarding. Yes, so here we are, guys. Yeah, feels like we got this parking fairly okay. Uh, does not look too bad, in my opinion. And yeah, here we are, Heraklion Airport. Welcome to Greece, everyone. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying your holidays. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in on this iFly 737 MAX flight. Always fun to be back in the iFly. I'm looking forward to the Microsoft Flight Sim version as well. It should become really good aircraft, I guess. Um, yeah, it's just the throttle thing. It's When I fly these aircraft so rarely, I always forget about the same issues which I'm facing every flight. Um, in particular this time not pulling the uh, throttle back to a proper idle position on the flare 
but uh, never mind. We, we made it down uh, fairly okay, I would say. And um, yeah, so uh, still really in love with this livery. That's a tremendously good idea to to bring up uh, a heritage livery, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this one, if you like it or maybe even dislike it. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everyone, and bye-bye.